it's Deborah Boschert. Um, I have been out teaching and talking about my new book, Art Quilt Collage, and I'm hearing lots of really wonderful compliments about how accessible it is and how it's really helping people on their creative journey. So I'm really excited about that and thank you so much. Um, I wanted to give you a little inside scoop on just one section of the book, one part of the book. I have these exercises, there's several of them in the book, and I call them, See What Happens. So I just love this phrase, see what happens. We hear it now and then, and um, it kind of just rolls off the tongue, but maybe it goes in one ear and out the other. But when you really think about this phrase, see what happens, it suggests that there is endless possibility in the things that you try in your creative practice in your studio. So I'm gonna share with you two of the See What Happens exercises from the book. Um, the first one is called Photo Inspiration Exploration, and it is from the Fabric Selection and Inspiration chapter in the book. So the first thing you have to do with this exercise is simply pick a cool photo that you love. That's easy. This is the photo that is the sample in the book. It's an architectural photo, and I really love the color palette, and I love the lines. And so then the exercise directs you to take a piece of paper, divide it into sections, and label those sections color, shape, composition, pattern, and description. And then you just take a pen and you doodle, sketch, make lists, write descriptive words of the things that you see in the photo. So by doing this, you're really looking deep into the photo and picking out elements that you might be inspired by. So also with all of the See What Happens exercises, I have included a list of questions that you can ask yourself after you've completed the exercise. They're listed down here on the bottom of the page. Um, so these questions might be things like, which of the sections was the most difficult to fill out? What was unexpected? Um, what element was the thing that jumped out at you? So when you ask yourself these questions, you can really begin to get ideas on what you can do next in your creative practice. So the next See What Happens exercise I wanna share with you from the book is called um, Simple Repeat Patterns, and it is from the Surface Design chapter of the book. So this exercise actually involves fabric and paint, not just pen and paper, and it is taking small uh, pieces of fabric and creating stamped patterns with found objects. So this pattern is created with this Lego brick. And as with the other one I showed you, um, there are lots of questions to ask yourself to figure out what you liked about the exercise and maybe what you didn't like because quite often it is as important to figure out what you don't like as it is to figure out what you do like. This is a um, tree trunk from a Playmobil playset. So in this exercise, the simple repeat patterns exercise, I might ask you, did you like working in a grid or did you w w wish that you could be more random? Did you like using only one color? Did you make any mistakes? And are they really mistakes? Um, so those questions will guide you to figuring out how to use that inspiration and those techniques in your own creative practice. So I hope that you will um, think about this phrase in your own studio and in your creative practice, see what happens. There's several more see what happens exercises in the book, Art Quilt Collage, A Creative Journey in Fabric, Paint and Stitch. Down below, I've got some links for where you can get the book on Amazon or in my Etsy shop where I will be happy to personalize one for you and sign it. Um, but really, I just want you to think about this idea of exploring and trying things and then asking yourself questions and figuring out what you might see what happens.